Hello guys and welcome to another Car Expose video. So today we're going to be working on a 2006 Mercedes ML 280. A couple of issues with this car. First of all, the first one, I don't think I'm gonna <laughs> even film it, but uh, there's an issue here with, uh, with the boot lock. Uh, but the person actually left the boot uh, lock so like closed and it's using a little bungee uh, bungee and switch is working and then you can hear the noise there so basically everything's working powers and ground everything's there uh, it just needs a new lock now the thing that I'm going to concentrate on this video is uh, she had a problem with the parking sensors before where you can see one of the parking sensors is pushed in and the bracket inside is broken and she managed to push the sensor back and it was working, working fine. All the other sensors are nicely in place. But after a while, uh, sensors stopped working altogether. So we're going to look at the faults and um, some live data, see what we find. So we're going to put the ignition on. And as you can see, let me put it in reverse. It's in reverse now. No beeping, no nothing. I don't think there's any switch here to disable it. Not 100% sure. No, I don't think so. But let's have a look at the live data here. Uh, what we have, let's put in parking again. What message do we have? heard something so reverse all right so it's basically going to parking again do the full scan three faults with the electronic system PTS with some codes I should have three faults stored and current right outer right inner left out so basically there's four sensors at the back uh two so like in the middle and then two outers if, if you like so two inner two outer so the only one that he's not complaining about is the left inner left inner yeah so the left inner right Let's see if we can clear this fault or not just in case ignition off 10 seconds Right, ignition back on, press yes. All right, so the faults are back straight away. Let's have a look if we have any live data. So, shift 11 position R, reverse, and current position is P. Let me do that again. All right, so reverse. Parking brake now operated, okay. It still shows the parking position there. That didn't change. Front bumper, rear bumper. Okay. Mm. So those three figures there is a bit, I don't know, I think those parking sensors, they, they worked for about a meter and a bit, but not two meters. I think two meters is too much. And the left inner, the one that is not complaining about, we have 61 centimeter. Let me open the open the doors here. See if that changes. Right, try to keep it there. Let right, me put my hand in front of the sensor. So this is the left inner. So put my hand in front of it. Oh yeah. So it seems to be working. So 61 centimeter. Open the gate. All right, 109, 112. So just over a meter there. And the other ones, you know, doesn't seem to change at all. Yeah, so only have this one, the left inner working. As you can see there, so it's pretty clear that we have a fault there. 
going back to the four chords here, so 90, 30, 90, 16, 901 C. So since that is faulty, so it doesn't complain about any open circuits or problem wiring wiring sensor is faulty. Now I believe these sensors have uh, three wires going to it, so it's powers ground and I think a lean bus si lean bus signal. So I'm planning to visually inspect everything and perhaps do the swaptronics quick and easy um, instead of getting the, the scope and everything else. Uh, if you know from that if we change obviously that sensor which is good to any other sensor and doesn't work uh, I guess we get the scope out but you know simple quick and simple test just swap that sensor to another one another position and see if it works all right so the swaptronics didn't work so I swapped that sensor which was okay it was working properly so that one and we still had a fault uh, there so swapping them didn't change anything that one is only the only one working although that one was in that position before so and then I thought to myself now you have two directions I look at the wire and diagram and these ones this wire here it goes to the front there so I guess the module is there somewhere um, let me put the light on yeah, so I guess that wire, it has all the colors from the sensors that I'm looking for, for the parking sensors, and then goes down here and inside here. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the direction that I thought you're gonna start taking all those panels to get to the module or remove the bumper. And I play the pro probability game and I think, you know, the problem is more likely to be here than over there inside the car. Decide to remove the bumper, well, again, very simple. I'll, I'll show you what it needs to, I'll show you now. It's basically have some plastic clips on the side here. I think it's three, then 10 millimeter bolt here from underneath. A 10 millimeter bolt here inside the car, which I snapped. It's all seized and rusted off. Uh, and then you have another couple plastic poppers at the bottom there four four screws at the bottom of the bumper and then and one more so and then that one you have a long screw um, or, or long nut that goes here which is this one I only had one in this car which was on that side that one the other side didn't have one it had a, a normal nut to the other side now Looking at the wiring, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to have any damage here. Okay, so it starts, the end of the, the loom is here. So you can see there, there's a common, uh, I believe it's a common red and a common brown in all of them. And then you have a different color, which is gonna be the signal. All right. And one in the corner. Now, the thing that I didn't expect, and I believe I found the issue, hopefully, I don't know yet, uh, is this. If you see the wiring going inside there, which I thought go inside there, it goes towards the bumper, and then the connector would be there somewhere. That was thinking. Now, pulling the bumper out, obviously reveal where it goes inside the car, which is in that corner. And then when I pull this cable, from that hole there we go that's our connector there it looks pretty cruddy um, yeah I can, I can also already see some corrosion in there so if we're gonna be able to focus on that but you know you can see a problem that straight away I haven't removed anything yet but you know thought process obviously the share powers and ground so because that sensor is working and it, it's one loom uh, the possibilities are pounds and ground is good and there is a problem with the signal now you know maybe that signal is already a bit iffy but it's working now we're going to remove this connector here and i think we're going to find the problem here fingers crossed yeah 
can see some greenies there, some green crusties. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. And also the connector, it looks pretty rusty in there. Hope you guys can see it well. So a bit of a cleaning process. To be honest, I don't know if it's gonna, because those connectors are so, so bad, so rusty. I don't know if I'm just gonna join them here together. We'll see, I'll clean them first, see if we get any, you know, connections, a good connection back. Otherwise, I'm probably just gonna cut the cable and just solder them together. All right, clean the connector. Oops. Well, we have a couple of faults now that is no longer current, so it's stored now. Still right out of sensor, still faulty. Let's have a look at our uh, live data. I'm in reverse at the minute. Let's see what figures we have there. The bumper is off on the floor at the minute, so. Okay, so we've got better uh, measurements that now Apart from those two at the top see this one right inner still a bit funky and that right outer nothing at all Well, I, I think guys are just gonna yeah, I just gonna cut this plug I don't think this plug is gonna it's gonna do it. Uh, the pins are pretty corroded although and also as I clean the you know file down the um, clean the corrosion the pins obviously go slightly thinner so it might not give a good contact so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna chop it and just sew them up and that should be a good fix all right so connect the fix so obviously sold it together there now nice connection and we are getting let's see if I stay out of the Stay out of the sensors here. The bumper is still on the floor, obviously. And as you can see, let's see if I can get rid of the, the glare. Pretty stable. So out right outer 34, right inner 31. 
and I'm pretty, pretty happy with it, apart from the left inner. And I don't know what position it started with with that sensor, but that left inner sensor is basically knackered. So I swapped them over, wiring is good, and that sensor, but yeah, swapped them over. Yeah, so that sensor is bad, basically. I'm gonna need a new sensor. However, uh, when I fixed the wire in the corner there, I still had I, a funny sort of um, data coming from the right, uh, the outer right, and I found, so like I think they had the problem with this bumper before because quite a few things, like, like that um, nut was missing, and I think this bumper being off before, I don't know why, maybe a repair or a minor repair or something. Uh, <coughs> there was a pin, pin hole on the wire, on that one, on that sensor. And, you know, tricky to repair because it's very close to the connector, but I managed to uh, to repair it. You can see I extended the wire there, took quite a lot of wire off because it's all corroded. And I think I might have, I think it was some people testing it. Maybe they had a problem with sensors before. And I feel uh, like I'm going to find something else still because, as you can see, the numbers, I moved the bumper there. The numbers are pretty steady and as I move the bumper I don't know if that is normal or not no, it's not playing up yet maybe a little bit as I move the bump out of position I do sometimes there you go as you saw there right inner 255 see so I believe there's still an issue with this harness, so I'm going to have to probably take it off. Uh, the right outer, yeah, that's, that's the region right, because the right outer, the sensor is there, so 82 is fine. But I feel like I move the, this bumper sometimes. And let me... Again, I move the bumper a little bit. This... There we go, 245, you see, the right inner. Then, and I don't know if it's normal because if I go in front of it, the right inner, so it's this one, and then it's fine and it stabilizes. See there, so I'm in front of the sensor now, it's, it, it works perfectly, so I don't know if it's part of the I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the sensor works like that, but certainly the other ones don't. Right, guys. So back at the Mercedes. Now realize when he's firing off, he's set oh, over a meter. Set on two five five centimeter. Now we still have the fault for our left inner. And I've got a new sensor in my hand here. And I have to do this car today because tomorrow I'm so busy. And I promised the lady I would do her car tomorrow. So I've got the new sensor here in silver. Well, originally blue, I think. But uh, yeah, it's sprayed silver. So I'm going to replace it. Uh, as you can see, I left the sensor slightly in so it's not in the bracket so it's easier for me to replace so i've got to go ahead and do that left inner and that should well hopefully start working again right since i replaced a slightly different color in silver but uh i don't know if the lady is gonna mind let's try to is the ignition on yeah ignition is on let's see if we if you have that as it's stored. Yep, yeah, perfect. So as you can see, stored now, should be able to clear it. And hopefully, the ignition off, ignition on. And hopefully, we should start hearing some beeps in a minute. No four chords. Nearly there. You ready? 
Now let's turn the ignition off. Ignition on. Start yeah. the start the engine. Reverse. Let me. It's nothing behind, is it? Sensor's working. Yes, oh, it is working. I heard it. I heard it a bit. Yeah, I can see. Go forward. Oh my God, it's working. Amazing. There you go. You can see that. I love that. And the boot. <laughs> well, I haven't done the boot, the boot lock yet. Is anything behind? Yeah, there's a car behind you. Oh yeah, yeah. I can hear oh, you. Yeah. yeah, it's beeping. Yeah. I can see from here the two red lights now. Yeah. Oh, that's just one sensor, <laughs> is it? Uh, well, the wiring loom was all broken as well. Yeah, the plug. Okay. Well, some lock is done as well, guys. The lady is well happy. Uh, there you go, brand new one. Let's close it. It's one of those that pushes the boot in. They go closed. Lovely. So that's it, lads. Ladets. I had to do the job yesterday evening because I promised the lady I was going to do the job today. But I'm going to have a very, very busy day today and I'm not going to be able to do it. So she was quite happy for me to come around and, and finish the job off on the driveway. And uh, yeah, she was pretty, very pleased. Everything is working. Uh, again, uh, she doesn't have to climb into the boot to open the boot uh, lid anymore and and the parking sensors are working. Um, I'm still not like sure how the that sensor distance works, but um, yeah, I took like a, I tried to monitor it a little bit while I had the lady talking to me and uh, the, the figures was pretty steady. So um, I think it's going to be okay. I'm still a little bit wary of that right outer plug because that you know the, the repair that i did on a on that plug uh because it had a pinhole it's very very not much wire left towards the plug if you if you know what i mean so i had to clean all the corrosion off and i don't know if it's gonna last but uh if it doesn't i'm just gonna have to buy another plug and then uh fix the loom yeah i found the connection in the corner I was kind of disappointed to you know remove the bumper, but it was a it was a good thing removing the bumper because otherwise I don't think I would find that damage on the right outer connector, and also gave me a chance to inspect all the loom and everything else. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy enjoy the video. If you enjoyed the, the video, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.